Hello everyone, Crystal here from Galaxy Finds. I know it's been a while, but YouTube has sort of been on the back burner for me. Um, there's a lot been going on. I, first of all, am getting married on Wednesday the 12th. Um, we just decided we're just going to do it because we have postponed our wedding twice now. And we're just going to go to the town hall and do it. So, yeah. I'm trying to like just plan everything for that. It's not going to be a big to do. It's just going to be a few close family members. And yeah, we're just going to get it done. So, my only issue is that my engagement ring has been on for so long that I. Sorry, I put my remote over here. Um, but I can't get it off. Um, it's been on since um, he proposed. December 31st of 2019 <laughs> so it's been a while um, no it wasn't 2019 it was 2018 going into 2019 so yeah it's been on my finger for a long time and in the past year I gained like 25 pounds or so it is stuck like I've tried all the the tricks I've gone on YouTube I've looked up things it's not coming off so well I guess I'll just have to put my wedding band on top of it for now, but that's that. So that's my, my big issue right now. But other than that, I had an amazing vintage haul today. Amazing. Like, so it wasn't all vintage. I got 72 items, but I am just going to show you the vintage ones because 72 items would take forever to haul all at once. Um, although most of them were vintage. I... So far, I think I only have one piece that I was keeping. I got a piece from Nick. So yeah, um, it was a lot of stuff. I hit the vintage jackpot today. <laughs> and I'm hoping that if any of you other vintage lovers know anything about any of these items, you can let me know. I'm no expert. I'm a vintage lover, and it's my passion, but I don't know everything. I don't, like, I'm learning every day when it comes to vintage. So I just picked up what spoke to me <laughs> and I hope it does well and I've been listening a lot more on Thrilling. I am still postponing that video because I've been lazy and now two other people have done a Thrilling video so I would have been the first but I, I procrastinated too much. So with all that said, I'm going to start. This first one, I like, I didn't think it was vintage at first. It looks like, like it's from India, one of those like tunics with like the, the split sides, but like the embellishments look vintage to me. I know my camera is like really not the best for showing details. There is no tag, but there was like staples up here <laughs> for some reason. Um, but the like lace part and the beading and everything looks looks vintage. Ooh, yeah. It's really pretty though. It's got great colors, so that's one. This this is cool because it has a tie at the neck. So it has like it's a button up, but it also has a tie. It's got this like nice paisley print, it's purple. Um, it is by Country Suburbans. I also have to note that I did find a lot of plus size vintage today, which is really exciting to me because so much vintage is like so tiny. But this is a size, it says it's a size 18, which, you know, probably is about an extra large fitting. Like, I don't know if I should model anything because the stuff that I model like doesn't sell. <laughs> I don't know. It's just not. I don't know. What do you think? Do you guys model or not? Like, and it's also a lot of work, so. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot harder to model. This shirt is so fun. So it's got shoulder pads. It's got like grapes on it. <laughs> it is by Top Notch. And it's got this, like, this hem that's like. I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to be loose or if it was supposed to be tight and it got stretched out. But it kind of looks like a ruffle now. I don't know. I really like the print on this though. It's very fun. 
this I was pumped about because I love stuff by this brand, Gitano. Like they made some really badass like jeans back in the day. But this is sort of like a denim, denim shirt, floral. And I feel like I had a dress somewhere in here that was very close to this pattern. So this is cool. It's oversized. It's a medium, but it's definitely oversized. And Gitano is usually from like the 80s or 90s, so that was cool. This, I just loved this fabric. It looks, it definitely looks old. So I'm not sure if this, it might be a children's size. Like the top of it looks like a big children's, but it has really big armholes and it's really long. I don't know. Like maybe it, like it would fit probably like an extra small adult. I'll put um, measurements, but there's no tags or anything. I think it might be a homemade thing. Um, it is missing a button at the back, but it's so pretty. This fabric was just, I love this fabric. Okay, what do we have here? It's by Christian Liu. Sort of like an Asian inspired shirt. It's got the buttons in the front. It's silk. It is a, it says it's a 44XL. I don't know. It's a men's shirt. I don't know. It's got shoulder pads. I don't think it's a men's shirt. Yeah, it says a 44XL, unless it's in like Asian sizing or something. I really don't know. I'm assuming this is 90s shoulder pads and all that, but it feels like silk. Is there a tag? I don't know. Oh wait, there's a tag. Um, yeah, it's 100% silk, made in China. I don't know. It was pretty. Let's see another plus size vintage piece has this cool detail in the front, uh, sort of like a, like a rope, I don't know, it's, it's cool, um, it is by Linda Karen, <laughs> I feel like those are like the most, like, basic names <laughs> ever put together, <laughs> it's a 22W, it has shoulder pads, it is a long sleeve blouse, it's just pretty. And I didn't see any stains on it, which is shocking for a white blouse. This, I'm not sure if it's vintage. Because I'm not sure how old... Like, the tag looks like it could be, like, 90s vintage. But I know Kenar still makes stuff. But this is Kenar and T Tijan for Kenar. I'm not sure how old the Kenar label is. But it is this drop waist pleated dress. It's like a maxi dress, but yeah, the it's got this drop waist with like this sheer bottom. It's really pretty. I don't know, it's a very cool piece. I definitely picked it up for that reason. What do we have here? Got a lot of weird t-shirts today too. Uh, this t-shirt. Got animal print, it's got shoulder pads, it's like bedazzled and has like gold paint. It's very cool. It is by JLM, the fashion group of Boca Raton. Uh, size large. Yeah, it's just a t shirt. Definitely 90s vibes on that. This vest, like, I don't know, it's so cool. Because it's plaid, but it's got two different types of plaid on each side. So it's like a mismatched plaid. It's by Fundamental Things, and it is a size 14, another plus size, which is cool. I mean, 14 isn't technically like plus size, but it is on, on Poshmark, so that's what I'm gonna say. This dress has some like pilling, but I'm not sure if the pilling is intentional. It is like an oversized like midi dress. It's also a drop waist. Um, it has pockets, which is nice. It is a Liz Claiborne dress, and it is 100% silk, which it's like it's not like silk silk. It's like a woven. 
I don't know. It's very strange. I've, I've never seen anything that's 100% silk that was this type of fabric. But I like, I mean, it's just a basic red dress, but it's got pockets and everything. So cool. What are we here? Like, I didn't look things over super well either. So this is by Lindsay Blake. It's just like a polyester top. Yeah. Just a blue polyester top with this nice button at the top. It's got like ornamental button at the top. This is also a plus size. It's a 16. So if you need some plus size vintage in your life, I'll have to head to my store once I get these things listed because I'm very, very excited about this. So this dress, I'm really not sure. It's it's like a rust orange. It's got pockets. It's just like thick woven fabric. The tag says forget me not by Fairview. On camera. Um, yeah, I really don't know. It's got a metal zipper, which is like I almost thought it could be modern, but then I looked at the zipper and like the stitching and everything looks looks vintage. So I'm, I'll have to look up this brand. It does, yeah, but it does have pockets, which is always a plus. It's just like a little orange shift dress. It's very like mod looking, very, like a very 60s, but it might be like a 80s does 60s or something. So I also got, so I got two pairs of jeans that I'm going to cut into shorts. Um, I did some of these last spring. I cut them and then I'd like distress them, but these are both like a size 36 and these are Wrangler. These are men's size 36. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, there was another pair. Okay. This pair is Chaps. They're both about the same, same age, I think, probably 90s. But they're both a 36, which I thought was cool because the cutoffs I did last year were both small. They both did sell for like in the $35-ish range for the cutoffs. So, not bad. I did find some cool like embellished shirts. These, this one has cardinals on it. And denim. Bobby Brooks, you know. This is a 90s Bobby Brooks shirt. But, you know, bird lover in your life. There you go. This top I am absolutely in love with. It does need a soak. It's very cute. It's very short. So I don't know if it's... Um, pen, it's from Pennies. It says... Um, oh, it might be a kid size. It says size 10. This could definitely fit like a extra small woman though. So maybe... I don't know. It's got this cute like ruffle. Sort of like western looking. But it's floral. I don't know. So it says... It has a name on it. Which I don't know if that name was... Like, as somebody's name. It says Miriam Gross. Carol Evans Pennies. I don't know. I love this, though. This dress is very, very thick fabric. It's a good, like, winter dress. I might not list this one until it's closer to winter. Um, it does not have any tags. It might be homemade. It does have a metal zipper. I haven't found any tags. But that doesn't mean that there aren't any because sometimes I find tags when I'm listing. I'm like, oh, there's a tag. So, yeah, there's no tags, but it is this like tweed, sort of pink and orange tweed, which is pretty. That's one bag. Oof, another bag. Another plus size vintage. It is like this lace thing. It's sort of like a peplum front. It is from Romans. It's a 22. So that's cool. It's just pink. Have, this is fun. <laughs> it's like gold embellished a top, but not top. It is by Rio Ink. It is a size. Is this the 
size medium, but it definitely is boxy and oversized. And it is purple, like bright purple. I know this camera makes colors look different, but oh yeah, and it has these little like rhinestone jewel things on them. Cool, cool. This another like fun t-shirt that I found. It's got all kinds of animals on it. Uh, it's got camels. And then it's got um, <coughs> elephants with sequins, zebras, and a camel down the bottom. So yeah, this is by Christopher A. And it's a medium. It said it was made in India, so cool. Is this the one that's... There's one in here that... Yeah, this one's super stained. I'm going to have to soak this, but this will be a great Christmas shirt. It says, um, Warm Seasons Greetings, and it has, like, palm trees with, like, little lights and stuff on them. It is by Victoria Jones Woman. It is a 2X, so not a plus size. That's going in the soak pile. This is like a cute little safari shirt I found. It's got like these two huge pockets in the front. Um, it's by Lady Arrow. It doesn't have a size, but it looks like to be about a medium. A lot of these things, like the 90s things, will do good on Depop. Yeah. This shirt I like, so it said, so many books, so little time. And then it's, Evergreen Books in Sudbury, Mass. I don't know if that place still exists, but this is a single stitch t-shirt. It's on a active sportswear shirt. 100% cotton and all that good stuff. Yeah. Gotta love reading shirts. This jacket was also very cool. It's just like a windbreaker. NRMC Charleston, South Carolina. A button up jacket. It's on an Ebert sportswear custom apparel tag. I've never seen that one before. Looks maybe 80s. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, this skirt was cute. This is like the first thing I picked up. Uh, it's a, like a button-up skirt. Like a wrap skirt, because it's a true like wrap skirt, because it doesn't have the tie underneath it. It's got, let's see, is there pockets? No, no pockets. But yeah, it's a true wrap skirt. Buttons over here like that. There we go. And it is a plus size. It is by Robin and Diane. It's a size 20. This needs to be soaked though, because there are some spots on the back. Alright. Another skirt, pockets, this feels like sort of velvet or like a faux suede. It's got pockets, 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 pockets. Uh, by Cardamon. Cardamon. This does not have a size, but it definitely could fit probably like a large, extra large. I'm saying. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, there's no size, no materials, tag, or anything. But it's a good basic. It's always good to have like basic colored skirts to match with pretty colored tops. This skirt is not basic at all. <laughs> so I don't know what <laughs> the deal is with this. I really like the lace though. It's like a floral lace. It's got like three tiers, and then the bottom tier is just sheer. It is by L and, L and B. It has a horse on it. So is this like sort of country line dancing skirt? Like, I don't know. What do you think? It It's a size 2X. Definitely seems like maybe late 90s. I don't know. I thought it was pretty. This, I have to get listed this says 4th of July, guys. This is America, right here. This is America. <laughs> um, 
It's by Cortiva. Uh, the size tag has been totally washed away. It's like a nylon though, and it's short sleeves. It's got these, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. This, it probably would fit like a medium large. I got a lot of good sizes today for vintage stuff, which is usually not happening. This I'm probably going to like bleach it because it does have some bleach spots on the back, but it is like an old LEI shirt. LEI, like those jeans we, you know, those of us who were in high school in like the 90s, early 2000s, wore those LEI jeans. Yeah. Uh, it says it's a medium. I think somebody cut it into a crop. So it does have a single stitch sleeve though. So it's like a 90s LEI shirt. It's just like a cute little crop that I'm gonna bleach dye some more. So that's coming home with me. This skirt is a older Eddie Bauer skirt. It's like a midi length with this pretty colored plaid. Love it. It is a size 10, but this is definitely not a 10. I would say more like a six. Um, yeah, 100% cotton. Very cute. Like that. This, okay. So if you remember in my last haul, how I had the Banana Republic shirt, I have an Express shirt this time, a vintage Express shirt. So it does have some stains, which I'm going to try to soak out. It's the old Express tag, and it is a one size fits all, which it looks like an extra large. So I'm not sure if it's male or female, or if they even made. Did they make men's clothes back in that day? I don't know. So my Banana Republic one though sold for $50 on Thrilling and it sold to a VIP client. So I'm really hoping that I, I like spot it in like a TV show or a movie or something. Like they, like they said VIP client and my the mailing label just had me sending it to the Thrilling headquarters. So I didn't send it to the customer. So they were going to do something with it or maybe the customer didn't want their address to be, you know, like, so that makes me think it's like a celebrity or a producer or something. How cool would that be though? Like that a shirt that I sold would be on TV or something? Dreaming big, but this, I'm not sure what this is, but I could not leave it behind. <laughs> just look at this this picture here and then we look at the back it's like a really long shirt too like, I don't know what the tag just says Fantasia, Fantasia. I, I don't know there's it's like a very thick material Let's see what's the tag say so it's a medium poly spandex it's like lined though I don't know it's very weird I don't know what to do do about this because I don't know I'm gonna have to do some research to see it's like a very country western shirt though it could actually be like maybe a shirt dress like it's long it's like tunic length I don't know it's some weird things sometimes then we have this basic Kathy Ireland mock neck velvet top which would be really cute under like overalls or like a pinafore dress or whatever this is is this one a plus size no it's a large so i mean still a good size that's like an off-white color this is a really cool night shirt it's very silky it's by la intimates and do we have a size? I don't think we have a size. Um, yeah, but it looks, it's big, it's oversized. Very pretty. Lingerie stuff, obviously, is always doing well. And I always pick that up. This, I wasn't sure about, but 
It definitely has a vintage feel. It doesn't have any tags, but I like the colors of the plaid. The stitching looks, you know, looks vintage. At least 90s. There was a little hole in it. There's some pockets, but I can't find any tags. No tags. I don't know. It might be homemade. Who knows? It's well made if it is homemade. So. But, oh, this dress. Another white thing that I was shocked that I couldn't find any spots on. It's got this like sailor collar. It is like a maxi dress though. Yeah, it's very long. It's got this sailor collar on it and it is a size 12. It's by Plaza Self. It's got these really cool buttons that are like iridescent. So that was cool. What else? This dress I think might be one of the oldest things that I found. So let's look at the front here. It's like a sheath dress. It's got some giant buttons on it. It is by Charles Warner. They have a feel like, oh, is, like the hook and eye thing is wicked rusted. Ugh. I don't know if I can get rust. I don't want to like get it on the dress. Oh man, it doesn't it doesn't hook? Oh, it does hook. It still hooks, but it's it's very rusted. But the rest of the dress is in good condition. It has like a sort of like linen feel, but I don't know if it's actually linen. Let's see if we have a tag. I don't think we have a tag. Yeah, I think this one is pretty old. Like I'm gonna say 60s. Let me know if you've ever seen this tag. It's it's a cute dress though. I had to have it. <laughs> so I think these are like vintage men's swim shorts they have this like print like it says 96 i don't know if that was like maybe these were used for like a swim team or something because it says so it's on both sides it's like stamped 96 and then it has some other stamp here that i can't really read and it is by broderick made in the usa but like i'll turn them inside out so i can show you so the crotch area looks like this on the inside. So that's what makes me think they're swim trunks, but they might just be like workout shorts or something. I don't know, they're very short, but they look like men's shorts. They're scissor size 34, so yeah. I don't know. <laughs> These are like really cool though. I like them. It's all that matters, right? <laughs> Another embellished denim top. <laughs> They're, it is so sparkly. There are monkeys, there are palm trees, there are all kinds of sparkles. There is a pineapple on the back. It is by Lifestyle. It is 100% cotton, size large. Yeah, this is, this is fun. Very fun. Okay, this, oh, this is just another um, plus sized skirt. It's like a a midi skirt. It's a midi skirt. It is not missing a button. It's just not buttoned up. It has a, an elastic in the back that is functional, not dried out. It does have some spots, so I'm probably just going to throw this one in the wash because it's very sturdy. But it is by Westbound Casual, size 14. Yeah, it's good just to have some plus size basic vintage stuff, you know, because it's so hard to find. This, oh, I thought this was so pretty. This fabric um, is, it's it's some sort of Asian brand. I think this is another like vintage made in China. I don't know, like I really like this. Maybe I'll wear it or try it on at least. Cause it is, it does seem to be big. Like it doesn't have a size. It's a hundred percent chem fiber. I don't know what that means, but it's the rest of the tags in Chinese, so. But this is so pretty, right? Like, it's flowers. I don't know, it might fit me. We'll see. 
I know I try not to keep things, but so hard. Okay, this. <laughs> I love this. Okay, this is an older Nicole Miller piece, but it is bamboo. It is covered in bamboo. Check that out. So I'm not going to say for sure if this is vintage because I don't know how long Nicole Miller has been around. It's at least early 2000s, Y2K. Look at this print though. This is so fun. I love a good novelty print. This is a size 6. This is polyester. Let's see. Oh, it's silk. It's 98% silk, 2% lycra. So it is well made. I'll have to look it up, but I want to say it's like late 90s, but this is cool. And what else? Oh, I think that's the last one. Okay. Wait, yep. One more. <laughs> if I can get this. I don't know what this is. It is, it is definitely like a plus size. Like, I don't know if you can see it's like a sparkle fabric. It's got shoulder pads. It's got this like, so the sparkle is sort of like a gold sparkle. And it's got this really nice button on it. Yeah, no, no tags that I'm seeing. It's got pockets. It's like a cardigan, so. I'm gonna say 90s for this due to the shoulder pads, but you know, that's my best guess. Yeah, this is cute. So, that is my vintage haul. It's insane, right? Like, the amount of stuff I got in one place. I, now I have to list it all, though, and I'm already, like, up to my elbows in clothing. My death pile is, like, is going to kill me. Yeah. So, <laughs> wish me luck. Um, let me know if any of this stuff's you know anything about the brands or the styles or whatever um i'll eventually be doing my own research obviously but if you know something that's helpful i appreciate it <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next video bye